that metal grind, physical grind? Well, get some heat earlier today. I tell you what, this morning it uh, kind of felt like I was out at the lake club in the steam room, sitting in the steam room. It was pretty warm, and uh, I wouldn't say we had a great practice this morning by no means. You know, it was hot, it was humid, and had to get keep pushing those guys. But it uh, it was like the old steam room. I can assure you that. You kind of challenged them after the workout to come out this afternoon and do you something. Know happy with I, I told them. I, I kind of kind of told them after this morning that uh, if we didn't come out and, and have a little bit of a better effort and have some enthusiasm to us and uh, find a way to push through it, that it was going to be a long night. So. Uh, we actually got done a little bit early tonight, and uh, these guys came out with the right attitude and responded. So that's that's encouraging. Is it the first time you've been unhappy with the practice so far? Uh, no, I got I practiced 13 in the spring. I wasn't very happy either. I mean, this summer though. But this summer, yeah. Okay. You know, and it, you know what happens is is that they get up in the morning, they eat probably too much breakfast, and they come walking out here, and it, it's it's a, it's a steam bath. I mean, it's it's hot, and uh, you know it's one of those deals where. Uh, they think it's hot. <laughs> they know how hot it is, and they just don't uh, aren't mentally tough enough to push through it right now. What was the toughest weather-wise of your coaching stops to play in the uh, I would say probably Houston, Texas was pretty hot because of the humidity, and then Tucson, Arizona. I mean, you know, it's it's 110, 115 out there. So I'd say between there and Houston, Houston was a hot son of a gun. Now I'd wear swimming trunks to practice. You know, so you can try to stay dry. So this is uh, this is chilly compared to that, probably. Well, my wife and I joke around about it all the time. Everybody complains about it being hot here in Ohio. Like, they don't have no idea. Uh, you know, I talked to, to Sasson and Rock, and you maybe talk about what they, you know, do, especially with a lot of young linebackers. What you need to know. Well, you know, the thing is, is we've asked, we've we've assigned all of our veteran players. We've assigned them a big brother on the football team. Mm -hmm. So. That's part part of this, you know, nurturing process of taking them under your wing and bringing them along. And that's not just in football. That's on campus and doing all those kind of things. So we introduced our Break Brother program the other night. And, uh, you know, when you got young players around, which we have a lot of them, uh, the veterans just need to kind of educate them a little bit. And when it's time to get back to the, to the dorm room and rest, you need to rest. You don't need to be sitting around playing around and cracking jokes and those kind of things. Getting to rest getting your playbooks, getting treatments, taking care of your body, eating right, you know, getting in ice tubs after practice. You know, it's cold. I know it's cold, but that's one of the things you can do to uh, keep your body in, in, in top condition so you can compete and, and have good days out here on the field. Where'd you get that big brother idea? Is that something you took? Uh, that's something that we had at Kansas State. Okay. Uh, you know, a lot of things that, that I believe in are obviously things that we did at Kansas State. And, Obviously, Coach Snyder has had a lot of success there at that, at that program and turning it around. And uh, you kind of go back to the fundamentals you believe in, you know, when you're when you're looking for something.